after recent shark attacks along the North Carolina coast. Plus, we have 50 million people that are at risk today for severe weather. Damaging winds going to be a big threat. Currently in our area, 72 degrees with showers in the area. Today, heavy thunderstorms. A few storms may be severe. High, 81. Chance of rain, 90%. Tonight, thunderstorms likely. A few storms may be severe. Low, 66. Wednesday, cloudy skies early, then partly cloudy in the afternoon. High, 83. Here's our seven day outlook. Tuesday. Hope it's going well for you. Thanks for joining us here on Weather Center Live. I'm Kate Parker. And I'm Nick Walker. Another stormy summer day for tens of millions. We've got severe weather out there and it's moving east. It is indeed. So who's at risk? 50 million are at risk, Nick. That's a huge area. Damaging winds, hail going to be possibilities. We're going to be talking about rush hour because that could be a big issue. <laughs> yeah, and uh, a lot of rush hours are going to be in trouble here as we get through the latter part of the day. But we also have trouble in the water. We take you to the scene of the latest shark attack in North Carolina and discuss the safety risks of heading into the water. We talk about being out of control. Unfortunately, more than 1,000 people have been evacuated. Dozens of homes burned. We update the Sleepy Hollow fire and see how much of that massive fire has finally been contained. All right, DC, let's take a look at you. Looking pretty good out there right now, but uh, we do have that threat of some thunderstorms and maybe even some isolated severe thunderstorms. Watch out for the possibility of hail, damaging wind. It's all a possibility as we head into your afternoon and evening. But uh, Kate, show us the threat now. Boy, that rain is coming down. Driving going to be just near impossible on I-20. A lot of cars here, you'll notice that they do have their headlights on. I know that that's kind of a strange thing to point out, but it's actually the law. If you have your windshield wipers going, you have to have your headlights on. So good move on this part, uh, except for that car right there. I'm calling you out. Okay, so we've got very heavy downpours going on, right? This is going to continue along I-20. This has kind of been training over that area. We've got a flash flood warning now in Hines County. This is uh, includes Jackson here, especially on the west side of town again on I-20. Now we are starting to see this break up a little bit back toward Pittsburgh. It was looking like a pretty solid line. So that's some good news, but still heading right east on this uh, on I-20. You're going to see some issues. Now flash flood warnings have been in place for Meridian as well. Uh, this includes Lauderdale County until 11:15 a.m. local time. So that expires here soon. The good news is the heavier downpours are a little farther south. They're not right on that major thoroughfare, but places like Demopolis, Alabama, you've been slammed this morning. You had really large hail there. Now you're getting a good soaking um, beneficial rainfall, but still man a lot of it from Gadsden, Alabama over to Rome, Georgia. Look at how this has really uh, come apart and kind of dissipated here. This was a really strong thunderstorm with gusty damaging winds. Now it's just some rainfall, so that's some good news. We love seeing that, but 59 you're still going to be wet, possibly some ponding on the roads there and then up towards Blairsville, Georgia, a tremendous amount of lightning. Look at how electric these storms are. Now we're starting to see the severe thunderstorm warnings down here. Panhandle of Florida, that's where we're starting to get those. Um, so a lot of people may be trying to get south for the holiday week, calling in an early weekend for the 4th of July. You have the potential for strong to severe weather, and that does extend all the way down here into the Panhandle. You'll notice how this is in orange right here. That doesn't mean that you're out of the severe risk. It just means that it's more likely we're going to see a focus of severe weather to the north, although you're seeing right now that we do have those severe thunderstorms popping up in the Panhandle of Florida. Tremendous amount of lightning with these also. So don't think, hey, you know, I can see a thunderstorm off in the distance. I'm going to stay at the beach a little longer. You could get struck with lightning even if you're not, if it's not raining on you at that point in time. So please go inside and take cover. 
And this is what it looks like through the afternoon. Look at this. See how all that rain that's currently stretched across Mississippi and Alabama. It starts to make its way a little farther to the south. New Orleans getting a good soaking later on this evening. That's going to be closer to the bedtime time frame, 9, 10 o'clock. And uh, or if, <laughs> if you're an early bird like me, you know, like 7, 8 o'clock, you know, that's when you're going to see the rain there. This does push a little bit farther off to the east, the Carolinas. You get some coastal rain as well. And then you'll notice we've got some more rain up north. That severe wet really kicks in tomorrow though, Nick. Yeah, it really does. And some of those areas that are getting the rain right now could see another round of it as we head through tomorrow. Add to that a uh, little bit of hail and damaging winds. You've got severe weather possibilities. We certainly have the moisture in place. And we've got that cold front moving eastward, so we expect to see thunderstorms fire up along and ahead of that, enhanced by that strong mid-level wind. We're going to see a lot of lift in the atmosphere, a lot of clouds building. You'll see those thunderstorm clouds, particularly in the afternoon along the mid-Atlantic up into the northeast. Here's the area that we're watching. Look at this. Philadelphia, you'll be in the mix here. New York City as well. We're watching Albany, all of upstate New York, and on into Burlington, Vermont, all the way back toward Syracuse, too. Thunderstorms all the way up into northern areas of Maine, but probably the severe weather being confined to, uh, to areas a little farther toward the south. But look at the, uh, look at the view here on the radar. As we head through your daytime tomorrow, watch the thunderstorms coming into Boston. We'll watch them make their way northward. So finally, we'll be out of the mix of it by the time we get into, say, the 10 p.m. hour, but it looks like maybe a few residual thunderstorms left over as we head into the latter part of the, uh, the evening hours. So, but be on your guard. Some of these could be strong through the day. Kate? Nick, a total different story on the other side.